Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. Today we're going to do something pretty cool with this old dresser here. I picked this one up a little while back. Somebody sprayed it with spray paint gold. Yeah. So let's see if we can make it a bit cooler. The top on this dresser had a big crack right down the middle. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of that. We are lucky enough to live close to the paint factory. So off to DIY we went to pick up our paint. And here we go. Let's get started with Bohemian Blue. I'm gonna use my Klingon S50 and I have a little cup of water. It's nice to keep your Klingon a little bit damp and uh, your paint will just go on baby butt smooth. It is fabulous. I'm just going to give this entire piece one coat with this color. For this project, I decided to use amazing resin. You can pick this stuff up on Amazon. That's where I get mine. And we're going to go ahead and pour it into some mold. So this stuff's pretty cool. You want to use equal parts of part A and part B. We're going to pour those into a cup and you're going to mix it nice and even. So it's going to start off kind of um, cloudy, cloudy. As soon as it's clear, that means it is ready to pour. You just want to pour it nice and slow get it into all those little details that way your mold will come out nice and uh, and pretty and good you can get all the paint and molds that you see on my website at windmillvintagedesigns.com i'll put the link in the comments below it takes about 10 minutes from those for those to turn from clear to white so i thought we'd come out and see what the turtles are doing they're really active right now and i'm pretty excited about that too once your molds have turned completely white, they're ready to be removed. So today we're going to use E6000 and um, let's go ahead. We'll put a pretty good amount on there, making sure that you have all the little edges and everything. After all, you don't want your mold falling off. So let's go ahead and get that on there and uh, glue them where we want them. Now let's give this piece some more interest. Let's go back in. We're going to do a pounce, 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 a stippling motion with Bohemian Blue. You can see that that clay and that paint really gives you a lot of texture when you pounce it on there. It's going to dry like that and that's what we want. It's really going to just uh, give it a little bit more oomph. Ooh, mermaid tail. This is definitely one of my favorite, favorite colors. Let's go back in and uh, do the pounce, pounce, pounce with a little bit of mermaid tail. I'm just kind of spreading this out, doing it here and there. I don't really want to cover the whole thing up, but I do want to cover a pretty fair amount. 
Now we're gonna go back in with sea glass. It's a little bit lighter than mermaid tail. And um, let's do the same thing right around those molds. wanted to show you BB. She is my newest addition and she is tiny, tiny, tiny. Wish me luck with her. All right, let's go back in with Bohemian Blue and tone this down a bit. All right, let's seal this bad boy up with Big Top. As you can see, when you apply your sealer to your paint, it really deepens and darkens it. it just gives it a great luster. Just got in my new shipment of transfers and stamps and molds from my OD. I've never used this one before. It's called Bars and Sudden. We're going to go ahead and put this on. This one is white, completely white. I think it'll look really pretty here. So what you want to do with your transfer is lay it down, get it positioned, and then it has this cool um, grid on it so you can keep your line straight as you cut and trim. You want to make sure that that white backing is there because wherever your transfer sticks, it's going to stick. So you just want to make sure the white backing is there until you're ready to uh, put it where you want it, okay? We cut it to fit along um, making the cuts where the drawers are. So now it's just going to lay really nicely on there for us. Now we're going to take the applique stick that comes in your transfer and we're just going to rub. So you rub a little bit, get some air trapped underneath there, and it'll release for you pretty easy. Once you have your entire transfer transferred, then you go ahead and just pull off your plastic sheet. Save that sheet though. You can use that to um, put your IOD inks on. Um, when you're using a brayer, it's a really nice way to um, conserve and, and reuse. All right, let's get our hardware on there and then we'll be ready to add a little bit more bang. So this is Pennies from Heaven. It is a beautiful copper patina that we're going to use now to um, really bring out the details in our molds and um, make this piece just a little bit more cool.
I don't know if you've noticed those cool bracelets I'm wearing, but they are awesome. A good friend of mine makes them. I'll give you guys her um, link to her website in the comments also, in case you want to get yourself one. All right, so now that I have my new top on, if you're interested in how I make my new tops, I'll put a link to another video that I did. But we're gonna go ahead and stain it now with Dark and Decrepit. Decrepit is a great alternative to traditional stain. It doesn't smell and it dries really fast and it gives you a great look. The color I'd say on raw pine is gonna be very close to Provencial by Minwax. It's just, um, good doesn't smell and i don't have to wait for it to dry and it's self-sealing so hey here we go guys we are all done i'm pretty stoked with how it turns out tell me what you think in the comments below you guys are awesome and don't forget only you can make it happen if you're interested in any of these products i'll put my website in the comments below see you soon